let's be real, I've been living in Auckland way too long. So I'm down in my local park and I thought I'd run through kind of the things that I have learned living in Auckland. And a lot of them are going to be very negative, I'm not going to lie. But there's always a positive that comes from a negative, just always remember that. You've got to find the silver lining, the positive outlook on life. This is a terrible angle. Chen. First thing I've definitely learned is that I am nowhere near ready to settle down. Because the thing is, when you start travelling for quite a while, you get the... You get the urge to have a base, a real strong urge, like uh, to nest somewhere and to be able to buy things like have your own bed in your own room and to be able to buy things like a, a blender and stupid things like that. After living in hostels and Airbnbs for so long, you want those things. So when we got to Auckland, I accepted that we had to stay here for a while and I was like, cool. So I went to the op shop, I was buying pots and pans, I was loving life and then it just fades you really get over it um, very quickly because like the bug just hits you straight away again. So you've had your time playing house and you're just ready to go. I mean, it's nice to have a base for a little while, but yeah, you get over it, it's nice. A couple of months here and there, you know, stop traveling because traveling is exhausting and like every so often you're gonna have to just stop, you know, breathe. Another thing I learned is that city life is detrimental to my mental health. Being in like this kind of concrete jungle world doesn't suit me and my health. And I only really realized this when we went to Piha for Christmas, where we camped on the beach. You know, walking, feeling the sand and smelling the sea air and there wasn't any noise pollution and the stars, you could see the stars. And suddenly, like this wave of calm, that's the only way I can describe it. This wave of calm came over me and I was just so happy. And also because I have a very creative job, I can't get creative here. Like you can in cities for very short bursts, I think if I went to New York or Tokyo, Melbourne, I know I'd get the creative spark, but I think once you live here for too long, it's kind of made up my mind that when I do make the decision to settle down, I ain't gonna be in a city, no chance. However, I do love cities. I love, I love both. That's the thing. I'm not one or the other. I love the 24 hour convenience and the bright lights. This one's actually quite sad, but I've had like no friends for the past eight, nine months. Zero. I've met people and started to build little friendships with, but not kind of friends that you meet on a regular basis. You know, I've been very alone. All I've had is Scott. Um, it's very hard to meet people when you never stayed in a hostel. When we got here, we stayed in Airbnb and then got a rental straight away. It's very hard to, I don't know, meet people. And especially because I work, normally meet people in your job like Scott has. I work from home and I've been, I went to blogger meetups and that was great. And I met loads of cool people. And we met up after for like coffee and lunches and then it fades. I've never have made a true friend here, really. I've met some really amazing people, but no one stuck around long enough for me to make a connection. And that's depressing anyway. Finally, it makes you appreciate travel more. Hello, Mr. B. Like you can take it for granted. When you're traveling all the time, you take it for granted. And you have no, like I keep saying, you have no idea how excited I am, it's because you don't. It's like, I haven't been this excited for travel since I left for Australia. Honest to God, haven't been this excited. It's just rekindled everything again. It's made me excited and passionate and the itchy feet. I mean, I've scratched my feet off the past eight months. I'm joking, it's, it's, it's pretty ugly, Dan. It's just stumps. You know, those are the personal things that I've learned living in Auckland. There's a lot of professional things I've learned, but I've already covered a lot of those in previous vlogs. How, you know, I want to just rebrand this channel with different kind of video content. Do more videos outside. We've got this beautiful park and the lighting might be a bit shoddy, but you might have, you know, some real noisy background noise. But you know, I want to do shots in really nice places and yeah, I'm so happy to be leaving. All right, that's all I got to say for now. Bye. You want to know something else I've learned since living in Auckland? Something about New Zealand in general. It's very hot when it's hot. Because of the hole in the ozone layer above New Zealand, if you didn't know, now you know. The burn time is 12 minutes. I'm sat here in a crop top and because I went swimming the other day and I got my bikini in the changing rooms, I looked in the mirror and I am so patchy because obviously it's a city, it's not a bikini wearing kind of place. So you get, you know, workers tan kind of thing. You know, like you get the scoop. You get the arms, you get your strap marks, and then your belly's white, and then you've got your short marks and slightly brown legs. Cover 
up wear so much sun cream here and if you burn bad seriously sometimes the sun here how can i describe it when you come out into the sun let's do it now you can literally feel it burn sometimes the moment you step out in it that's how harsh and severe it can be